Hello, each week I'm bringing along a different origami fold and that's to hopefully give you a time to yourself to do something special that will make you smile, it will bring focus and it's a really powerful tool to relax origami. So my name is Lizzie, I normally go and encourage patients and staff um, in hospital UC, UCH to, um, to do origami as a beautiful way to lift mood, bring community, make people smile, find out what's impossible from folding paper. It is extraordinary. Last week I was bringing along, I've been finding little fossils actually, so I've been finding beautiful shells and ammonites and um, I've, I was asked by someone if I could show show how to fold a dinosaur t-rex i have to say this morning i found a wonderfully intriguing stone it's probably unlikely to be fair to be a tooth but it's nice to imagine isn't it so i'm going to show you how to fold your own t-rex now this was designed by stephen o'hanlon and he's designed loads of amazing uh, dinosaurs so do check out his blog and website too uh, but this is hopefully a really nice one interestingly it's also based on the sort of what's called the bird base so there's a uh, the classic fold is making the crane and it sort of starts off a bit like that and of course uh, birds are the, the descendants of dinosaurs so it's quite interesting that they're related so I hope you're going to enjoy this you could grab green paper we truly don't know to be what colour dinosaurs are, but I'm going to show you from white as I'm doing. Uh, when it's bigger, I find it a little bit harder to stand up, so I, it tends to do the splits and fall over a bit easily. When I've made smaller ones, actually, it's tended to be a little bit more stable, so don't necessarily expect this to stand up, but you can always prop it up and it, it will look nice. So, special request, dinosaurs, we all love them, don't we? probably quite glad that they're not around right i'm going to grab a board please grab something that's nice to press on i'm going to first of all show you how to make a square and then we'll go through making a dinosaur here goes here we go so if you take the corner to make a square you simply bring it over line it all up You've seen my videos before you'll see me doing this every time but i'm keen to show you that you don't need any special paper all you need is, could be a scrap piece of paper or a plain A4 piece of paper or letter. We're going to get rid of this rectangle. So turn it over, bring it back, keep it all lined up. I'm also hoping that these films give you something to focus on each week. A little bit of variety and a little bit of human company. I'm showing you a bit more than just the hands. You're seeing me as well because... I think this origami is all about connection. So I'm going to tear that there. Did a good strong fold. And then we'll get going on how to make the dinosaur. Right, you've already got a diagonal fold. That's great. So if you do the other diagonal fold. There we go. Who knows? Dinosaurs could have been white. Probably not. <laughs> but you'd imagine... Were they bright green? It seems unlikely, doesn't it? It's funny what we imagine things to be, along with aliens and dinosaurs. They've got to be green. Why? So turn it to the other side. Something fun about it, isn't there? And then we'll do a horizontal and a vertical. And if you pop it up one way, you'll find it's a triangle. Pop it up the other way and it's a square. Amazing what can be done just with these small number of lines, first of all all about structure and shape and each time i'm trying to remember a new new fold but they're usually based on other things that you're familiar with so it does actually get easier with time right so here i want you to simply push the bits together and to make a square now if you're finding it's making a triangle it's because you've got it the other way up so do make sure it's pushed together that way if it was this way it would pop into a triangle you don't want that so pop it so it makes a square our next step now is the end which is all kind of open i want you to take the side and fold it to the middle and it's important you do it from that end that's all open there here we go it's usually as easier to press down with origami be nice and accurate and then from this side do the same so it matches again i'm gonna 
lay it down because that's always a little bit more relaxing as well and I think when you're doing that fold you're letting out a bit of pressure but it's useful as well so we'll do the same thing on the other side so if you turn it over so as I said if you've ever made a crane or you're wanting to you'll find that this is how it starts so take the side and fold it into the middle and to some extent there's always that you're building upon the discoveries of others and it's very kind of Stephen to be sharing his design and it's only thanks to people being kind enough to do that that origami evolves and there are more and more possibilities because of course dinosaur isn't exactly going to be a traditional fold I don't know what point people are realizing about dinosaurs but probably not hundreds of years ago uh, so this top if you fold over we're what we're going to do is make a line there if you fold it down and then also fold it back just it's just making a nice strong line that's all so our next step is we're opening up I always like to think of opening a present because it's a nice thing to think of and if you take this top layer pull it back and what you'll need to do is slightly reshape the sides it's always a little bit tricky as I said always origami I think most of all is about being patient and kind to yourself so if you're patient and kind you will get there gonna be... there we go did you see I reshaped it so it should form that kind of shape and again make sure you really take your time and get that point just right um, and to get that through there that's it so we turn to the back and we're going to do the same thing so again opening these flaps taking the top one and pulling it back reshaping it so it all comes together and as I said just take your time you will get there it'll be fine that's it so hopefully it looks like this and you've got almost one leggy end and one end that's not so our next step is to fold over a leaf fold over a new page <laughs> so it looks like that and then turn it over and what we're going to do is this end, I'm going to fold into a straight line, but I'm only going to press up to that middle line. So I'm going to do a fold there and I'll ending up doing the same thing on the other side just to give a particular structure. So you see, so it's like that and it's on this end, which is above here, taking the side, folding in a straight line, but I'm only doing the fold up to that middle point. It. and then the same thing on this side too so taking the side and folding into the middle so this is great I'm getting viewers making suggestions and I'm having to do things I haven't done before good attitude to learning so you see there was effectively we've added a fold at the at this end so now what you should be able to do is push it up like that and it forms a little spike this will actually be its neck and head can you see so next we should be able to close it that way great we'll be able to bring it up now actually we'll see how much we can do in the air so hopefully it looks like this we can make first of all those little hands the little arms at the front so this will become the little arms this will become legs and a tail and this will become the head so how to do it so this little front bit pushing down in the middle and squeezing so there's just a little tiny bit sticking out do you see you can always with the film rewind you can also change the speed so it's slow as well so next we're going to do its head so to do that I am simply taking it and folding it so it ends up looking kind of like a head does that look can you see and we want that fold to be really good and strong so I've done it one way and then if you 
do it back the other way as well and that's really just to make the line very strong now you should be able to then open it up and push it down and it naturally now goes in the right line and then squeeze it can you see that's it like so now the face is a little bit pointy at the moment which would be fine if it's a bird but it's a dinosaur it's a t-rex so we're going to take the end of this and then fold it like that and again it might be useful to fold it back the other way as well just making basically a strong fold and then you should be able to open it up and push it in tuck it away so it can't be seen on either side so look it's great we've already got the head we've got the front arms next we're going to have to make the legs so if we take a side and fold it down i think at about this point like so so it's the tiniest bit of an angle and there's definitely a good gap there i think this is what's called another judgment fold it's up to you quite how you do it uh, it looks like it's a dinosaur ding ballet, doesn't it? Nice pointy legs. So you need to do the same thing on the other side. So there's another flap here. Leave the other one sticking out. That's its tail. And if you fold that down to match it. Like so. There we go. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? As I said, it looks like a T-Rex doing ballet. We need to give it some feet. So to do that, we're going to take the end and fold it sort of inwards and pointing backwards and keeping it flat obviously his feet do not go backwards so we're in a moment we're going to change it to the other direction and as i said you may not find that it balances i've only found that the little one for me balances so you may then have a go at making smaller ones and seeing if that balances but you can always prop it up uh this point again doing the same thing and folding inwards so if I bring it here, you just all you're gonna do now is match the other one. And doing it inwards, let me see. There we go. So it's looking sort of flat, but it's the wrong direction, isn't it? So our next step is to take it and then fold it back forward. And you've left a little tiny, can you see a little tiny fold in there? So I brought it back and then I brought it forwards. And I guess to keep it kind of flat, to at least give it the chance of standing up. But as I said, I've not found it. It stands so much. It tends to do the splits a bit as well, but it's very cool. Um, and then the same to match this one. So again, leaving a little tuck and bending it forward like so oh i can feel concentrate well for this it's looking good there isn't it there we go right just one more step and i guess actually this weight might help possibly and also the shape maybe so here we could slightly soften it again it doesn't matter if you don't get to this point but at the front here you could slightly soften the body so you can fold it in a little bit just to give it a bit of a rounder belly goodness knows what it's eaten all those other dinosaurs can you see i slightly folded it in and of course if you do it one side you want to match it to the other one so it's no longer pointy there we go So that should be it, as I'm predicting. I doubt that this will stand up, but you never know. It's a very cool dinosaur, isn't it? Dinosaur. <laughs> so my little one I found balanced a little bit better. Maybe you could make a little family of dinosaurs, decorate them, do them in different colours. Think about life a long time ago. <laughs> uh, let's see if he's balanced. As I said, I doubt it, but... So this one I found can just about sometimes, but it really is a balancing act. Yay, that one balances. I don't think that this one will. You can see it's doing the split. Oh, you never know. 
So you can have a play around. Maybe a blue tack might be an idea actually to get these standing up. But they're rather lovely, aren't they? So I hope you've enjoyed that. Something fun for the week. That might be the 15th fold. I don't know. I'm losing count a bit. But um, thank you very much. Wishing you happy folding. And I hope that your dinosaur has worked. Thank you.